Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Adatullah with another new video. Uh, I think if you hear that means you are a civil engineer and you are facing problem to design your slab in tech life structural designer. Right? So if you have that problem, I'm going to solve that. Uh, so before I start, if you are a civil engineer and if you like to learn about uh, civil engineering basic knowledge or civil engineering software tutorials or uh, different types of software then this channel is for you so subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so let's uh, start first of all when you design that when you will design your slab okay so go here and click here design slab just you see that here is the warning uh, pass, fail, warning, error, beyond scope and unknown. Right? So from here, go to review and just uh, for slab or mat, just see the ratio. How percent it's failing? We're seeing that only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and uh, that 8. That 8 slab we can consider to use our building but other wall slab are not okay other wall slabs are not okay for our design sake okay I mean uh, it will not bear or it will not sustain when we'll construct that so in this video I'm going to show that how we will just pass pass that problem so uh, to pass that problem I'll go here the status actually uh, that are passing as that uh, slab are passing so I'll just come here and uh, I will select any of that slab and I will place right click and from here I will click check panel okay I'll just click check panel so after coming here here you are seeing that it's um, they have two cross that means it's showing reinforcement design summary not okay reinforcement design summary it's not okay if I increase that so here it's the utilization ratio and also this is the area provided okay uh, reinforcement area provided 0 0.24 but area record only 0 0.07 0 0.06 0 0.16 0 0.13 Alright, so just um, after that, click here S pen effect depth check. S pen effect depth check. Now you are uh, seeing that it's also showing fail. So uh, it's showing S pen effect depth check. That means it's failing in effective depth. So if we see here, okay. Uh, so effective depth are failing so uh, I'll check panel details panels overall depth is panel overall depth is 4 feet okay and it's uh, top cover it's showing us more and also bottom cover it's also showing more so I will just uh, decrease our top and bottom cover first so I will uh, just from here I will just come here and I will hide concrete beam and concrete slab uh, sorry concrete column after that see that here only your beam uh, slab are available then escape that after that I will select our wall slab and from here I will just change its nominal cover okay I will just change its cover uh, there have utilization ratio you can use that the reinforcement so here is it it's, sorry sorry um, its reinforcement is it's uh, giving us its reinforcement is 17 get grade 17 grade so actually our reinforcement will be loose okay here uh, 
top bar type our bar will be loose and it will be 60 grade and bar size is number 3 bar and for that it's also bar size is number 3 bar we'll use our bar spacing and here bar spacing is 16 inch okay uh, first of all i'll give here 18 inch i mean 18 sorry okay so it's done after that i will bottom bar here is the bottom bar again i will change that it's loose bar and from here it will be uh, 60 grade 6 inch and also it's 60 grade 6 inch then here is the top cover and bottom cover actually uh, uh, we know that for slab it will be 0 0.75 inch okay 0 0.75 inch so if i see here 0 0.75 equal to 3 by 4 okay 3 by 4 inch so our slab um, I mean our bottom and top cover will be here also and here also our bottom and top cover will be 3 sorry 3 divided by 4 and also 3 divided by 4 not 5 it's 3 divided by 3 divided by 4 bottom cover okay and it will be also 3 divided by 4 so just see here this is the top and bottom cover okay and also we have changed the reinforcement for our uh, slab here and uh, just see anything here just and rigid or here is our concrete grid two way okay done after that just come here and press escape and again go here design and design slab so after that it's also showing us um, it's also showing us that it's failing so again I will just select that I'll select all of slab and from here I will just here uh, I'll, I'll change it water depth as it's failing in uh, I mean as it's failing in effective depth check so I will just give 5 inch for overall depth okay then again press escape and just come here and click uh, sorry uh, click here design slab now you're seeing that now that that slab have passed right that slab pass, have passed but uh, that other slab are not passing okay so uh, again I will select wall slab here and I'll just go here in our reinforcement sorry it's, it's default it's not mesh loose bar and it will be it will be I will give 6 inch for bottom I will also give 6 inch for top bar and for top bottom bar I will give her loose bar and also I give 6 inch and also here 6 inch sorry here 6 inch then see what happened now see what happened uh, I will just go here design slab okay and just click here it's also not okay then I'll just click here on a kit on the reinforcement uh, I'll just say uh, change the reinforcement uh, from our design then go to setting 
and from here uh, for slab then reinforcement layout okay our minimum bar 3 maximum bar 5 okay it's minimum loose bar then patch then general parameters for it flat slab it will also use united state unit after that go here for uh, foundation for mat go for layout it's done then click ok after that I will just again change it select those bar take sense and from here select it's also okay it's mesh it's uh, those bar and from here we'll select those bar it's done okay then press enter to apply it after that skip that and just see its property sorry just click here and see its property here is it ok or not now so it's ok for now okay so similarly I will just uh, select wall club from here and I will just go here mesh as a loose bar and also for bottom it's loose bar okay then enter after that enter and go here for design all statistic just click here to design all statistic after that we will see what happened actually it's running analysis so I'll just click here and click here design slab okay it's uh in this way it's also not working so again i'll select our slab and again i will increase our slab thickness so from here i will just uh, from here i will just go down and i will increase its slab thickness i will give it slab thickness as uh five Fins, feet and half ins and um, five ins and half ins I mean five point five ins sorry one divided by two then apply now uh, it's done again I'll go for analysis and I will see what happens and just I will change it sorry from type or outer bar type those bar it's done and for our bottom bar type it's also those bar it's done so now see what happened now I'll go here uh, slab design nice now just see our slab have passed our wall slab have passed here actually okay so you're seeing here our slab have passed actually so in this way we can pass our slab and we can uh, see what happened to our slab and uh, before design 
we can uh, I mean how can we do that so it's done actually and if you think that that is helpful for you then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like our video share our video and leave a comment and your opinion is very important to us so in our next video I'll show you that how we'll find out its, its detailing I mean its overall detailing in our model and after that how we'll analysis for it and how we'll uh, find out its also uh, materials requirement so thank you thank you very much stay connected till next video